right. Good morning and welcome to this week's edition of Encompass Live. <clears throat> I am your host, Krista Burns, here at the Nebraska Library Commission. Uh, Encompass Live is the Commission's weekly online event. We're a webinar, we're a webcast, we're an online show, whatever you want to call us. Um, we are here live every Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. Central Time. Um, but if you're not able to join us on Wednesdays, that's fine. We also record all of our sessions every week and post them to our website so you can watch them afterwards um, at a time when it's convenient for you. Uh, the show is free. The show and the recordings are free and open to anyone to watch. So um, you don't have to already have attended a live show to watch its recording. Um, you can go in uh, whenever you want to and just see our entire list there on our website. And I'll show you at that, that website at the end of our session today. Uh, we do a mixture of things here, uh, presentations, interviews, mini training sessions, demos, um, basically anything library related, uh, we put it on the show. Uh, we're pretty open that way. <laughs> um, we also have, we sometimes have Nebraska Library Commission staff do um, presentations and sometimes we have guest speakers. And today we have a mixture of Yay. that. <laughs> um, right next to me here is Sally Snyder, who's our Children's, Children's and Youth Services Coordinator. Close enough. Did I get it right? You, <laughs> yes. I, it's hard to remember. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and um, I'm just going to hand over to you, Sally, to exp uh, introduce who you got here with us. We're going to talk about the Gold and Silver Award, which some of you may know of, some might be not. Um, and I'll ask you guys to take it away. Next to me is Kathy Schultz, who is the uh -huh. Gold and Silver Chair, Committee Chair. And has been for a little while. I'm not going to say less or no, more. No, we don't count those no, years. Count. <laughs> <laughs> and next to Kathy is Marcia Bradbury, who is the historian for the Golden Soul Award. And uh, I'm just going to let Kathy get started, and we'll be talking back and forth and jumping in with um, comments and yeah, bits of information, because what we want to do is tell you <clears throat> about how the Golden Soul got started, how it works, how you can be involved. Mm -hmm. So go ahead, Kathy. Right, and I hope you, if you have questions, I hope you'll let us know. Sure. Um, uh, we thought we'd start with uh, the history of the award. Um, it was initiated by Carla Hawkins Wendell and D. Story at the University of Nebraska Lincoln, but it is currently sponsored by SKIP, um, mm -hmm. the School Children's and Young People section of NLA. <coughs> and it was named for the statue on top of the Capitol building. The sower. Right. Mm -hmm. um, the goal of the award, uh, you read this, stimulate children's thinking, introduce different types of literature, encourage independent reading, increase library skills, and also foster an appreciation for excellence in writing and illustrating. Um, I had look for a variety of books. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, I know I had somebody one time say, well, your, your goal is to um, recognize and promote Nebraska authors, right? And I said, well, no, not exactly. If, <laughs> no, it's, that's not really one of our goals. If we have Nebraska authors, we'd love to have them represented on our list, but that really is not the main goal of our list. Um, there are three awards presented each year. Uh, the primary award uh, for basically it's picture books kindergarten through third grade. The intermediate category is approximately fourth through sixth grade, and the young adult is really more middle school than high middle school. school. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, encourage you to have your students read whatever level they are is appropriate for them and they're is comfortable for them, right. So if you have a third grader who's reading the intermediate books, that's great. If you've got somebody that's in middle school and wants to read intermediate because that's their reading level, that's great also. That's okay. We don't really care. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, the first award was presented in 1981 and there was only one category that year True. when they started. The intermediate right. was the only category at that time. And uh, two years later, they added the primary award. Mm -hmm. And you can see the, the number of votes about doubled, doubled. that year. <laughs> <laughs> right. <clears throat> and in 1993, they, uh, we added, we added the, the young adult. Yeah. And currently... Look at the... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the votes have Total grown. Shot up. Then. Uh, this last year we had over seventy thousand. Wow, that's great. Yeah, and about seventy-one thousand voters. Right, and um, all schools and libraries in Nebraska may submit votes. Um, there's no registration required to participate. We don't charge any fees. 
um, all the information. We'll talk about our website at the end, but all the information right. you need is right there. Um, basically, to participate, you just need to provide copies, copies of the books. <clears throat> of the nominated books in, right. in each level. Now, if a public library wants to collect books from kids, shouldn't they contact their school? Because the kids can only vote once, that's right, either Correct. in their school program or right. at the, at the public Well, library I was in a that. public library setting, and I, I operated on the honor system. We just oh. we had ballots available and said, if you do not vote in your school, you are welcome to vote welcome here. To That's a good <clears point. throat> And yeah. I never had anybody abuse it, I don't think. Mm -hmm. um, but that way, you also open it up for uh, children who are homeschooled. Oh, mm -hmm. good point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I, I think that is great. And the ballots are all submitted. I mean, your, your vote totals are all submitted online, so it's very mm -hmm. easy to do. <clears throat> And when students or libraries submit their votes, they should submit the total number of votes for every book, not just yes. the book that has won at oh. their, in their particular setting. Oh, it's important that we have vote totals for right. each nominee. Because my school might vote a lot for one book, and one another book. school might be voting for a different book. So. Even if I have a, one kid in my sure. school that voted for that mm -hmm. other book, mm -hmm. right. it can make a difference in right. the every, total. Right. Every vote counts. And Yay. I know as a school librarian, um, I always encourage students to vote, to read, read the nominees and vote. And then I always stress how important their vote is, you know, in the whole scheme of all nominees, not just their favorite book. It's important that we know how many votes we get for each each uh, book, and it's important. I think kids embrace that. So. Right. There's there are ten nominees on each list each year, uh, but students don't have to read all ten. Mm -mm. They only have to read at least four of the nominees from one list. So. Uh, and, and these, you can read them to the students, too. Right. Which, they can be read or heard. Right. So if a student um, takes home one of the primary nominees and, say, cuddles up with mom or dad or whoever they're with at the end of the day or before they go to bed and they're reading this wonderful story, that counts. They can count that as one. Mm -hmm. As one book heard or read. I know a lot of times teachers or the librarians sure. in the school will yeah, read them they to will the read whole class. Yeah, they will read a nominee to the class. Right. Yes. And that counts. Right. And uh, all the votes need to be submitted online by April 15th, which should be an easy date for everyone to remember. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Already stuck in our That's brains for some reason. I've done my taxes. What else was I supposed yeah, to do? Let's see. <laughs> There's something else. Right, and then all the, the votes from across the state are um, tabulated, and the winners are announced May 1st. And I know everyone's always eager to find out if yes. the vote, won. if the book I voted for won. won. <laughs> and then the winning authors and illustrators are invited to attend the uh, NLA and SLA Fall Conference to receive their awards. We were so fortunate to have yes. two of our this winners year. attend a couple of weeks ago, and that was. That was wonderful. Yeah, it's it's really uh, it's really neat, and they always um, express that this type of an award is especially meaningful to them because it's the children they were writing for Four. that selected their mm -hmm. book to win. And our author and illustrator who were unable to come, um, they were very willing to send us. Uh, pictures and videos of them accepting the award. Uh, that was yeah. that was very nice. Uh, picture them holding their plaque with they're a big smile on their, their face. They're showing where they're sitting in Nebraska. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Those go up on. I know we're going to go to the web page later. Right. But those are posted on the web page right. as well. Right. Um, sometimes people wonder how titles actually get, get on the nominee list. <laughs> right. Ricky and. Uh, teachers, librarians, students, parents from all over the state are welcome to submit titles that they feel should be considered for the nominee list. We'll go over the criteria in just a minute, but um, 
one thing I, I have had publishers contact me and say, can I submit my book? And I said, well, you can submit it to the committee and then we will read it and decide, or, or somebody in the state of Nebraska has to actually nominate it. The publisher can't put it directly onto that list. And then um, all these all these titles, titles, which it could be 50 to 100 books um, per category, are uh, so the list is given to volunteer readers across the state, and they try to read as many of the books as they can. And it's, and it's a very group of people. We've got parents and teachers, librarians, uh, yeah. uh, reading these nominated books, and the list is accumulating as we speak. So Right. We are uh, accepting nominees now yeah. for to read for future lists. Future lists. Um, these are some of the criteria for uh, nominating the book uh, or for the information that elementary students can nominate titles for the list that they will be reading for, obviously. Um, but I think one of the most important ones is th that fourth one down there, the person that's nominating the title must, must have, have read, read the, the book. book. Uh, I, that doesn't mean you read a review of the book. Or Sally said it was good, so I'm going to nominate it. You know? <laughs> I did read the book. So read Sally the can nominate it, but she read the book. Right. <laughs> because sometimes um, it's, I, I, it kind of amazes me. We'll get people that submit titles, and oh. the book hasn't even been published yet. And I think, okay, did you get a review copy maybe yeah. that mm -hmm. nobody else has seen? But I thought, that's interesting. That <laughs> is. And, you and know, I know people are enthusiastic about adding either a favorite author sure. or a type of book that they love, a genre, they, they get, special they genre, get ahead of themselves. But yes. when you really have practically a year right. to read At least. It and nominate it, right. then mm -hmm. hopefully you have some time in there to right. read that book. Yeah. And we ask that you know if, if students want to submit titles that they go through their teacher or a parent so that they can double check to make sure the book actually fits the criteria. Uh, here's the criteria that nominated titles should exhibit literary and or artistic merit. Um, <coughs> eligible titles have to have been published within the last two, two years. years. That means right now we are accepting uh, suggestions of books that have a copyright of 2015 mm -hmm. or 2016. And the list will go out to our readers about March, mm -hmm. and then they have till the end of July to get as many as possible read. Yeah. Um, but they, but you know, yeah. We want these. <laughs> they, we want the list to have as current, you know, and new as books as possible because we're looking for books now for the 2017-18 school year. year. Mm -hmm. So by the time these lists are actually out and the kids are reading them, the books are going to be several years old. So mm -hmm. we don't want them to. Good. To, to be going out of print either. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, and something, may, I don't know if I should tell them this or not, but if you volunteer to be on one of the committees for reading the books, mm -hmm. um, they ask that you join Goodreads. And yes, so you can see you right now Goodreads. what's been nominated so exactly. far. So right, you can start right. reading so you now. Can, you can see, even though the full, yeah. complete, now we're done list won't be sent out. Exactly, until I'm glad later. you mentioned that. Glad you mentioned but, yeah, because I'm I'm reading right now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so so right. right. <laughs> well, Goodreads has also made it possible for all of our readers to make comments yeah, after right. they read the book, and interact with each other, right, right. and have it a, a virtual discussion of the book online before the cutoff in the summertime. Yes. Yeah. And that's um, nice too, because mm -hmm. people bring up things that I hadn't thought of, and go, "Oh, you know, that is a problem with that book that hadn't right. occurred to me." Right. Or I'm going to read that book. Doesn't I that know. sound great? I want to. <laughs> yes, this sounds out. great. <laughs> Put that one on my list. Right. Um, nominated titles should reflect an equitable consideration for a culturally diverse society. Yeah, we look for books mm -hmm. across the board. We want to represent We want to re represent, you know, books for boys, books for girls. Right, hit the genres that, yeah, you know, you don't want a, a list of ten dog stories, even though those are really <laughs> wonderful. But we want something that you know, we some want cats in there too. Is yeah, okay. right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want, um, we want 
things we, we know we don't all like the same kind of books and our, mm -hmm. our kids are that way too we want something you know they don't all want to read science fiction necessarily but even though you and I enjoy those too. <laughs> <laughs> and something that the the committee or I don't know what to call our group of readers who get together for a meeting did this mm -hmm. last meeting for the, not this year's list, but the next, next year's year. list, which I'm really excited about, is that there's a graphic novel on mm -hmm. sure. one of the lists. Sure. Yeah. And, and this is a first for this. Right. And right. I think it's great. Mm -hmm. I do too. Oh, it's really We're impressed with for, your, your right. talk about how we need to keep up with what kids are reading. With what they're, they're interested in. And then uh, it's very important that the content must be age appropriate for the readers of the category that is nominated for. There are uh, wonderful young adult books that when I'm reading that list, I try to keep in mind, this is aimed at sixth through ninth graders. Would I want to hand this to an, a sixth grader? That's or, you know, maybe it's more appropriate for 10th and 11th graders. Uh, so we try to keep that in mind as we're reading these books. Um, if it's a nonfiction title, you know, years ago, we Marcia, had a couple. Uh, well, yeah. we had a, 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 a rule, a criteria that said nonfiction wasn't eligible. Mm -hmm. But you know, also, then you gosh, it gets so you know sometimes right. the the line between fiction and nonfiction is kind of blurred, mm -hmm. and uh, somebody said, well, this is, has poetry in it. That's nonfiction. We can't nominate it. So we changed mm -hmm. that. Uh, I'm we, so glad. Yeah, we I wanted too, to. Frankly, I'm, I'm exhibit, glad we've got we've had some good biographies right. that have been. Nominated. Well, and one of our winners, uh, Nubs, Nubs, was a, yeah. a nonfiction book about a dog. About a dog and his uh, owner. Yeah. Who brought him. So over. I mean, but it it needs to be something that you would want to sit down and read aloud to a child, not just a more of a textbook type mm -hmm. nonfiction. Sure. So it has kind of that narrative. Right. That narrative so style of writing. Right. Mm -hmm. So you need to think about that as you're reading the books too. Um, we try to, you know, there are so many series books, mm -hmm. and we try not to nominate like the second or the third one in the series where if the child has never seen the others and picks it up, and they're going, I don't understand what's going on here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we try to take the first one, and it should be self-contained. You don't want a cliffhanger ending. You know, we sure. do want the kids, to, if they like it, to go on and read the others. Read but, the others. But they should be able to read that book and have a satisfying conclusion and, and say, if you know, I like that book. Mm -hmm. I don't have to read the others if I don't want to. Sure. And uh, very <clears throat> important that they're in print at the time of nomination. We talked about that. Sure. And Caldecott and Newbery Award winners are not eligible, but the honor books, books are. Yeah. yeah. The winners are not. They, they're already getting are. lots of recognition. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and hopefully yes. the kids are reading The kids them. are reading, hopefully reading those too. All right. Um, the authors and illustrators should be living in the United States at the time of nomination. Um, somebody asked me why that rule was put in there, and I said probably because it would be very hard to get them to come and accept their award if they lived in Australia or someplace. Or England or, or yeah. France. Yeah. Uh, and only one title that, had, like, you can't have. Uh, some of these authors are very prolific. Yes. And you can't have, like, two picture books by the same author on the list at the same time. In consecutive years. So they could be nominated for the reader's list where they're sure. reading 50 or more books. Oh, exactly. Books. Sure. I'm glad have you two, that. Yeah. That often author. happens. But yeah. then when the decision making comes to put it on right. the table. Right. Yeah. We have, yeah, we yeah. stick to. Then, which, yeah. one, which one do we like better if they've got <clears> two <throat> on the reading list? Right? And we can roll titles over on that oh. reader's list to the next year. As, oh as long as they're the committee, not too old, then. yeah. As long as it's not too old, and as long as the committee or the group feels it's it has enough merit on its own, right? You know, to good point. and the authors and illustrators can be nominated multiple times, but that same book cannot end up on the list more than more once. than once. <coughs> Some of our prolific authors are. Oh, Peg Carrot and, and Mary Downing Hahn. And Mary Downing Hahn. Popular. And Carl Duker. Mm -hmm. I think Mary uh -huh. Downing Hahn, I think, holds the record. I think yes, she's, she's won, won it five, five times, times at least. Wow. Oh, I was thinking maybe Joan Burney. Was yeah. it Joan Burney? Yeah. Uh, uh, wrote Humphrey. Oh, no. Humphrey. no. But, uh, okay, and it's, oh, it's pretty amazing because she's won that over 
I mean, her first oh, award no, was back was, in the early 90s. Right. So right. this is not wow. the same students reading. You know, yeah, exactly. These are different yeah. students, and that <laughs> makes it. She's such a delightful like individual yeah. anyway. Right. <clears throat> and then if they do win the award and they have a book on next year, we they students can read it and count it as one of their four, but they can't vote the award. Because we don't want this to be a popularity contest. You know, I really like the other books. I'm going to vote for that author again. Um, mm -hmm. It's, you know, which is kind of kind of hard, but the kids can read it and still enjoy that wonderful book. It's well, just so talented as one of the right, four, which right, right. I think that's great. Because yeah. by then, the list has been finalized. and Sure. It's We're not going to eliminate them and put something no, different on. No. Uh, if you are interested in being a volunteer, volunteer reader, reader, yeah, this is the people to contact. Uh, primary and intermediate would be Shauna Lindner and Carney. And, and young adult is Jill Annis. So um, it, just send these ladies an email and say, I would like to be a reader. And um, they will give you all the information on um, Goodreads mm -hmm. and, and get all the information to you. They would have to be invited to be yes. on Goodreads? The groups on Goodreads, are, um, the three different levels mm -hmm. are each a different group. And you have to be invited to join the group. That way, nobody from the outside can... Right. can no, Sway on private, it's private yeah. yeah, right. Which it's is a good. private truck, private list. But right. everybody's encouraged to express their opinion. Sure. In a polite and positive way. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, Sally. Let's let's criticism. Really, yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. We're all polite and positive. Sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Always. <laughs> and if you have any questions, you can contact we can always send questions to Sally and she will see that it gets to the right to the right, right person. person. So Sally's a, a good central contact. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, our contact information is always up on the available. It's on the on web. web too, on our web page. Um, and there is our Golden Sower web address. Um, very easy to remember. Mm -hmm. And the inf you'll be able to find lots of information for adults working with, with the program. With for, yeah. Um, the the lists and the link for voting. The winners, the nominees. All the information all about the, the history information. awards. Sure. Right. Sure. And then we have a Golden Sore Awards store where you can purchase uh, mm -hmm. merchandise to help promote the program in your school if you're interested. We do have a manual every year that's prepared, um, and I don't know where. How you get that on it? No, probably not. You know, <laughs> probably not. Here. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Here you go. I'll just okay. take it all. Yeah. Tell me if this works. Okay. <laughs> I'm just crazy. I'm crazy. Watch me. Oh yeah. Oh, it's kind of dark. You can see it, but it's a little, okay. little dark. But yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it has three hole punches, so you can put it in your notebook. In your notebook, right. and it is uh, primary. It's all all three levels. It has primary uh, through young adult in here. And it it's a wealth of ideas. Information um, about the author's, author's uh, um, activities that you can do with each of the books. Uh, internet links, uh, websites that you can go to that will include information that kind of ties in with the, the with theme the, of the book. The books. Um, and that's put together by volunteers as this well. This is right? put together by a wonderful group of volunteers. Anybody can volunteer to submit ideas. Teachers, librarians um, are very good, helpful submitting ideas for this. Um, it's a it's a wealth of ideas. Yeah, you don't have to reinvent the wheel because we've right. done it for you. <laughs> there, ready to go. <laughs> and then our virtual museum is where we have put up uh, pictures and letters and. Uh, mm -hmm. All sorts of stuff from our winners mm -hmm. in the past. Right, um, right. So pictures the, of them with their awards. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we've been able to include uh, a transcript of their acceptance, part of their acceptance yeah. speech, or the letter that they sent thanking the students mm -hmm. for voting. Mm -hmm. um, lots of fun information there. Yeah, and that's something you could show the students if you wanted to. Sure. Oh, yes. Yeah. At your school or at your public library. Do we still right. do the artwork? 
Well, we, have we have in past years. I don't think there's any up right we now. We don't have any. In some years, we have had students. Students submit artwork for the winners. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so now we want to go to the web page. How do we do that here? Well, Down. Oh, I see it. There okay. it is. You just click on that the, one. Yep, there you go. There you go. There. The That's Golden Soar sorry. web page. Um, I have a little caveat here. We we have had yes. some some problems with updating, and so some of the current information is not available. And I'm I'm sorry for that. I'm, I'm sorry if it's confused people. Uh, we are in the process. I think the Nebraska Library Association is moving to a new. Server platform. I don't know yeah. what the terminology is. A new host is. and a new platform at yeah. the same well, time for the website, for the entire website, all the sections, all the roundtables. Right. And this is part of that, and it, it's having some hiccups. But right. It's, yeah. We will hopefully get it up and ready to go. Let me show you. Uh, let's see the other one. Oh yeah. There. We have a temporary site that's here where you can find the list of 2016-17 uh, oh, nominees, which a lot of people have been looking for. Right. We try to have this available by the 1st of September, September, the year before these books will be read by the students, students. so that you have a chance to get the, um, get the books purchased and in your library and be all ready to go. Uh, so we have that linked on here and also the order form for the yes. store. Oh, great. Yeah. With the prices. There's the Gold <clears throat> Store manual, and mm -hmm. we have stickers that you can use to label the books in your library to help, them, help students find them. There's um, a rubber stamp where you can stamp the information inside the cover exactly. of the book. Um, and then other, other and things. Other fun things. The post it notes are very popular with the Peter Reynolds. Oh, um, the little sewer. Yeah, yeah, the little sewer. And then we have uh, bookmarks. Yes, that. Uh, with these are created using artwork that has been donated by the winning illustrator. For the for the primary. Right. Book. So well, this new great. one, creepy carrots, is uh, really a cute one. It's, it's uh, the book cover. It it basically it's the cover of the book, but it's printed on uh, it's like a postcard size, and it's printed on sure, orange color stock, fat. so it looks like oh, carrots. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the even monsters need haircuts. Um, we had a picture donated for that one. That was last year's winner. Right. And uh, Titanic Cat from 2011, mm -hmm. and the Secret Science Project one from 2010 Ten. that are still available. And some years we don't always get artwork submitted, so that could be why there's a gap. Right, there. but, right. Um, most illustrators are very willing. But there's there are other things I know that people use as uh, little incentives for their students. You know, mm -hmm. I've heard people say, well, if they read so many, they they earn something. The bookmarks are very inexpensive, as you can see, so you could probably get enough for all your students. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. give them one when they vote or whatever. Oh, yeah. You know, that's a great idea. Yeah. And I love the mug. I mean, it's a nice, big, yeah. sturdy. Mug. Probably don't buy those for your students, but no. I mean, all the, all the <laughs> I sure should have like one. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> Why haven't I bought one of those? I, I don't do know. You should, sir. You like it. And this uh, this little pin is really nice. That's and nice. very inexpensive. It's a neat little lapel pin. Uh, there's a little pewter. Uh, sewer. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that if you go to the uh, Nebraska Library site, I, this should be available for these two these most two. current things that we want mm -hmm. people to be able to access. Right. Yeah, and for those of you out there, when we ever, whenever we do shows here in Encompass Live, I collect any websites, and those are um, provided to you afterwards as well. Okay. So when the archive page goes up for this recording, there'll be links to both the the main Golden Solar page and this one that has the up to date information, so people can jump. To them. Okay, That's good. Nice. Thank you. Yes. Okay, let's go back here because I want to show you some of the things on sure. the website. And uh, well, for example, let's go to the virtual museum. Yeah. That's <laughs> fun. That's fun. So we have so we have not been able to update, update. it and get the to 15 get our... winners on, but um, for example, Matthew McElligot 
that was so much fun last year. He was not able to attend the conference in person, but he did a Skype virtual visit and, with us. And we've done that a couple and of times. And he was... He oh, was, wonderful yeah, isn't that neat? Uh, that was the that picture he cool. sent us. But we had so much fun with him because we could actually interact with him, sort of like he was there, you know. Mm -hmm. And he he was sitting in his, his office slash studio at home talking to us, and the door behind him opened and... Someone, I don't know if it was his wife or what, came in in a monster costume behind. <laughs> oh, and just as that he appeared, we lost our connection. Oh, I don't no. think he did that on purpose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we connected again, and I said, we were really worried about you. Yeah. <laughs> but the monster got you. you know? <laughs> That's fun. But, yeah, we had a wonderful visit with him. He did a fantastic uh, uh, Skype visit. And, you know, some of these authors and illustrators might be interested in doing something like that with you and your students mm -hmm. at your school. Sure. Uh, there, it's really a lot of fun to, for the kids to actually see the author, you know, and, and talk about um, who, make, who made that book, you know, mm -hmm. where did it come from? Mm -hmm. And uh, Marie Lou was our young adult winner last year and was not able to attend, but she sent this picture, and there is also a video clip of her accepting the award, award and thanking the students. So this is something I hope you'll show your students. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. It goes all the way back. It goes clear back, I think. Oh, yep. I think we have to. There's the 20th anniversary celebration. And it keeps around. going. There's, there's the 10th. The 10th. Mm -hmm. Yep. It goes back, back to the there very... Early ones. Now, some of these, the virtual museum did not begin in 1981, obviously. No. No. <laughs> so we had to go back and kind of put Recreate. some of this together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was not necessarily easy to find the information we needed. Mm -hmm. But we found a picture of him from a, a mm -hmm. newspaper article, article that was that was uh, printed. And, and some, some people, and some people did have pictures that they could share with us. So it's really, uh, it's really kind of fun. And then here you can go to the Lincoln Journal Star article that was about about him accepting his award. So uh, I think this is a lot of fun to show your students. Mm -hmm. um, okay, you have got information about the award. Here's the uh, current. Well, it will be. Yeah. Really? yeah. See, these were the ones from this last year, and we have not been able to put up this year's this yet. List. But this was this is where you will find it eventually. <laughs> uh, if you go to the winners, you can get a list of a complete list, all the links for for each of the uh, levels. There's the young adult list, and if you go here, there is a. PDF document that lists not only the winners, but and also the, the nominees, the, the runners up, yeah. and all, all the books the that were nominated that oh, year. Nice now nice you nice. can see, obviously, when they started, there were more than ten books. They started yeah. out with mm -hmm. uh, was fifteen, many. I think. Yeah. And then it, they, uh, that's a lot of books to mm -hmm. read. <laughs> <laughs> and they decided to cut it back, and I'm thinking it was maybe in about ninety. Three or so when so, the young adult was added, they cut it back they to ten for each list. But um, if you're curious about um, mm -hmm. if a book was ever nominated or mm -hmm. if it was as the historian, was, that yeah. is so that is so valuable to me because as I go through the archives, I can go back and say, oh, this one, right. that one, right. Yeah. Now, here's a link to the store where you will actually have pictures of some of the merchandise nice. that we have for sale. Here's the rubber stamp and uh, the little pin. The Unfortunately, so we have not been able to update it, so the new bookmark will not be on here. The new manual is not pictured. And uh, the new price list is not on here either. I'm thinking because of the cost of postage, some of the prices did go up. Mm -hmm. but uh, But not. It's, yeah, yeah not a lot, but, um, and then Nugget Online is where you can go to find all the information, find a link to voting. Mm -hmm. Here's the, uh, 
all the information we've talked about today, basically. Sure. The history. Basically. The history. And uh, tips on establishing your program, um, how to submit your readers' votes, uh, the voting procedures. You just, uh, hopefully you can find all the answers you need here. Right here. With, this is why the internet is so wonderful. We used to have to try to mail out paper. Yes. Oh, oh, oh my yeah, goodness. We stopped that in year 2000. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh, yeah. This is, this is we so much better. We decided this was the better way to go. Well, and trying to maintain sure. a, a list of who to mail it to. Oh, yeah. Because oh. people's jobs change, and mm -hmm. uh, it was you had no way to contact new people. So hopefully everything you need to know is available mm -hmm. on this site. Um, let me see. Where's the... Okay, here's the information about the uh, sculpture on the, mm -hmm. the, in the building. Right. And we also have contact information for members of the committee. If you have a question and you're not finding the answer, here's the email addresses to use. Or me. Exactly. Or yes. They can always <laughs> find me, always right, get Sally? Information Sally, Sally, if she doesn't know the answer, she knows who to ask. Exactly. That's, that's a good <laughs> reference librarian, right? <laughs> I'll just email Kathy about this. Yeah. And she'll reply right away, unless she's on vacation. Well, yeah. Sometimes it, I do go on vacation. Yeah. Sometimes. I think you should. <laughs> yeah. That's one of the perks of being in town. <laughs> Can you think of something else, Sally, that we should talk bring about, up or talk or? about? Does anybody have any questions while we're here, pausing? Um, if you have any questions or comments or anything you want to, thoughts about the, sh the uh, award, uh, type into the questions section of your GoToWebinar interface. I'm monitoring that here on the laptop. We can grab those questions for you. So far, nobody has said anything while you were chatting. They've been okay. listening hard. They're, yeah. just, <laughs> they're contemplating. They went out for coffee. What can we <laughs> I like how you, you say um, the page we were just oh. on, sorry, about yes. GSA. Right there. Um, how, how it was decided or, or why. Mm -hmm. How, oh, sorry, the golden sower from the sower on the Capitol, mm -hmm. and I don't know if um, Carla Wendelin and, and the other lady came up with that. Or I think they must have. They must have because that is the symbol of our state. Yeah. Right. Right. Being an agricultural state, mm -hmm. it's um, everything I have seen indicates that that was probably uh, the direction they were thinking anyway. Right. Now let's um, see. I think if do they. No, where was it I read? It maybe it's, oh, it's probably in the manual. <laughs> oh my, how convenient. Yes. It says the sower was chosen as the symbol of Nebraska's Children's Choice Literary Award uh, because the, the, the sower was seen as a symbol of the state, as a major agricultural state. Uh, he's not merely see, sowing seeds of grain, but something greater. He's the symbol of the intrinsic principles of living, a sower of the seeds of life. That will bring into being a finer life for the future. future. And that's why they chose mm -hmm. this, because they want the Golden Sower Award to sow the seeds which will help develop this appreciation for excellence in writing and beauty and mm -hmm. literature, literature and, and, and children's lives. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, if you start start young, hopefully they'll keep reading sure. when they're adults. Sure. And to do better in school, one of the best you things bet. you can one do One of the best things you read. can do is read, read, read. And pick something you enjoy and read it. And you'll right. slowly get better. Or it's yes. fast. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, we had, uh, you can see here how the, oh, the wow. number of votes. I, we finally yeah, put this good. together uh, a number of years ago because um, uh I think it came about because of an email I had from somebody in another state who was mm -hmm. doing a graduate class and was doing research on state book awards, and she was wondering about the voting and all this information. And so we went back and yes. found all these numbers found and said, okay, wow. now we've done this once. We don't want to have to do this again. Let's put it on our website. That's somebody a good historian who has all that information yeah. I can go back and find. But, you know, somebody else may want this information, and we don't want to have to do this again. But you can see here's where the uh, first award, the Intermediate Award in 81, 
and then 83 was when the picture book award was added, and then 93, 93 is when the young adult. The young adult. And uh, it, it's fun to go back and... And just see the progression. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. And we're so and excited. We always, we love to have those kids voting, reading and voting, mm -hmm. having their schools yeah. and libraries get involved. And, and, and I love the idea that, that kids can also nominate books, and I'm hoping yes. that teachers and librarians and parents are talking to their kids about sure, that too. About what they're read reading. these books, and then when you read something that you think would be wonderful, if it's you know mm -hmm. meets the criteria, send, right. we can right. send that in. Right. There's a link on the web page where it tells them where to send the uh, the, the nominees these books, mm -hmm. or they can use those. Uh, email address that we had listed for Shauna, Lindner, and Jill Annis, uh to send their nominees to. So it's uh, hopefully an easy process. Um, I know any web page can get confusing. If you're not seeing what you need, I hope you'll email me or somebody else in the committee and ask questions. Sure. It's, good. it's got a lot. It's got a lot of information in there, though. I mean, right. Especially mm -hmm. with the criteria and what, how they do, how you do the mm -hmm. voting, and how how the books are chosen. I think it's, it's important to have it up there so people know yeah. right where all this came Not from. Not all states yeah. are uh, awards are operated the same way. No, mm -hmm. all states, mm -hmm. though, I believe have awards. They have. Yeah, I think I they think do. All fifty states have a children's. Uh, well, they all. Award yeah, they choice. all have an award of some yeah. kind. They, they do. don't necessarily all all yeah. operate the same way. No, I mean some states you might be able to nominate Charlotte's Web, you know. Yeah. But uh, you know, mm -hmm. it, even though it's an older title and all this, uh, but we try to keep it current. Mm -hmm. New books. Who's going to it's current. get new 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 books into into um, well, and it, it eyes? It yeah, helps the public libraries. You know, they're able to get the current mm -hmm. titles. Everything's in print. Should be in print anyway. Yeah. I know how quickly things go out of print. Um, same way with schools. You know, they like to know ahead of time. So in their ordering process, mm -hmm. you know, they they can make sure those books are available for kids. So as far as you know, all along the line, has it been recent books that's been put on the awards list from the beginning, or do we know that? Oh, from way back in '81. Yes, I believe so. I think I believe they it. used to say three years, oh. and we we cut it down. We cut to it two down because uh, otherwise it seemed like the lists were getting very long mm. to select from. Plus, some of these books were getting older, and then we'd say, "Yeah, that's a really good book," but we'd contact the publisher, and they said, "Well, you know, that one's going out of print," and mm. we thought. Well, there's not Already? enough copies, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, for everybody to to uh, to buy for their library, and we don't want that to happen. And the manual contains lots of uh, good black line masters that they can use. Schools and libraries can use to print bookmarks. Kids mm -hmm. can keep track of the books mm -hmm. they read. Um, Oh, like this one, uh, somebody prepared a, a no, word search, search puzzle to go with it, and, and the There's answer's in there. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> always good. Yeah, I think that's always good. Uh, here's a crossword puzzle. So there's uh, there's a lot of different activities, depending on the, the age of the student book is aimed at, too. So you can make that a really a, a sizable size part of a curriculum or something, not yeah. just go and do this voting thing, but let's mm -hmm. actually do something related right. to it while we're in class. Or As a school librarian, a, I use this a lot mm -hmm. with kids and with just developing lessons mm -hmm. and right. they'll have, they'll integrating list them into the Other books by curriculum. the same author and then companion books, books that if you like this one, you well, might like this also. Mm -hmm. Other yeah. dog stories, you know, because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> there are plenty of them. Yes, though. right. Isn't that great? <laughs> it might have vocabulary words. Uh, it might it have information about the author. Mm -hmm. And what I really like is that we've also included right uh, each year before we when we the books are nominated and make the list, we send the authors and illustrators a little questionnaire. And if they return the questionnaire, we include that in the manual also with mm -hmm. their answers on uh, what. What's the favorite book that you've illustrated, or um, what was your favorite book when you were a kid? Uh, mm -hmm. Have you ever visited Nebraska? What you know, all these questions. Uh, tell us about a time you got in trouble as a kid. I love that one. <laughs> that yeah. was fun. 
these are really fun to read. <laughs> and if they if they send a, uh, something that's handwritten, we'll often scan that and include that also. Mm -hmm. So a lot of you know anymore we get a lot of this by email, mm -hmm. so it is typed up. But I I really enjoy right. reading those, and they we always ask them um, if. Uh, the students want to contact you. How would they do how that? How would they do? That? And mm -hmm. sometimes they'll put yeah. uh, an email address in there, and the, mm -hmm. and the students can email them directly. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times they do have to go through the publisher, but, right? Uh, but it's nice when they can directly contact that author. But that's a lot. Many, many times, a lot of these children's authors are very welcoming to that. Yes. Right. Yeah. They'll they'll have yes. their home yeah. address. Uh, they'll have their e home email address, whatever. And uh, most of those I've talked to, I think, do try to respond, try to respond <laughs> yeah. as best wow. they can. So. Yeah, well, no questions came in while we were chatting, so okay. I guess you've covered everything. Oh, or everybody goodness. wants to read yeah, the manual and good. figure out what they do. <laughs> yeah. I hope they have the manuals. Yeah. I do, too. If not, give one, they will get one. one from the store. Right, because it's uh, a, a very easy way to uh, integrate this. Integrated into the into curriculum, curriculum, right? Or programming? Or well, that's that was another thing we added in here. Uh, let's see which page. There's, there's a list of the uh, activities. Oh general. yeah, general activities on voting and uh, participation mm -hmm. certificates you can print off and use. And also, oh, there's battle of the books questions mm -hmm. to go with the books. And then we also included pages that. Show how the Golden Soul program aligns with the Nebraska academic standards. Oh, nice. Oh, that's yes. nice. Yes. So if you know if your principal is saying why are you doing this, you can say, well, mm -hmm. it fits. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. help you figure out how it fits it's and where. Nice. It's <laughs> yeah, it's nice saves you some time. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for coming in well, and thank talking you. with us we about the Golden Sower. We always enjoy promoting the Golden Sower mm -hmm. Award. It's it's a great thing for kids. And if my mailbox gets full of questions, I'm just going to forward them. Sure. Very <laughs> very to I your. hope you will. <laughs> but maybe we've answered all their questions. <clears throat> well, hopefully, yeah. And of course, the website's a great well, resource. Yes. Yes. <laughs> hopefully, we can get it. Yeah, it shouldn't be too much longer. I've got my fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're working on it. Yeah, I'm yeah. glad we have that link now so they can access the, the, the new list for right. next school year and the or to blank. Yes, or to blank because right. a little bit of pricing has changed and so they right and the new bookmark and the yeah. new manual are there oh, right so people are saying well don't you have a manual this year <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah, yeah we do cool. all right thank okay. you all right thanks all right. Thanks. Thanks. Yes. Yes. Oh, thank you i didn't give you the mouse yeah. <laughs> So yes, thank you very much, Kathy and and Marcia and Sally, of course. <laughs> um, that will wrap it up for this week's show. I did this too. Um, what we did record, as usual, we are recording, recording. Uh, so uh, the recordings will be available on our web page, which I can show you right here. As you can see, if you just Google Encompass Live, we're like the only thing that comes up right, so far. <laughs> no, nobody's ever named version. anything else this. <laughs> um, but this is our main website here where you can, um, our recordings will be available right here under our archived Encompass Live sessions link. We post, um, this is the previous session, um, this just has a recording and a link to the website. But if there, That's yes, we will also have the PowerPoint presentation. I'll post as well. I'll grab that from Sally. Um, so we'll have that available up there. We'll have a link to this recording and any of the websites, the Golden Sword main page um, and the one that's that kind of intermediate, most up-to-date stuff that you might need. Uh, will all be available there mm, probably later this afternoon. It depends on how long it takes to get it processed yeah. and everything done. It's, it's, it's all manually done by me. <laughs> Yay, so, you, yeah, everyone. thank you, everyone, for um, coming this morning. Thank you, everyone, for attending. Um, and I hope you'll join us for our next show. Uh, next week, our topic is the uh, upcoming Nebraska Library Internship Grant Program. Um, we've done grants here for um, internships for quite a few years, and there was, a, I think it was a short, short break, but now we're back again. 
um, with that. So um, if you're interested, we're going to have our staff here, Joanne and Mary Jo, who run that program, along with a couple of uh, people from different libraries who have done this in the past, so they can tell you about how they've used the internship grant program. So you're thinking about getting someone, um, high school, college kids, someone who wants to get into libraries and interested in it, this would be a good way to get some funding to help have them um, come and work at your library for a while. So please do sign up for that or any of our other upcoming shows are listed here on the website. I'm always adding new ones as they are um, scheduled. Also, we are on Facebook, so if you're a big Facebook user, uh, you can go right up here and click on our Encompass Live Facebook page. I post notifications of when a new show is coming up, when the recordings are available, reminders of the upcoming show. So um, if you like us there, you'll have all of that information as well. Yes, Golden yeah. Souls on Facebook too. Yeah, oh, there. Yeah, yes. and I think yes. I saw that it was on. Um, yeah, I think there was a link on the web page. One of your, yeah, your web page had a link to that. Not this one, but the other one. Where's the other one? Um, well, it's, it's on the same. It's just a different tab on the same one. Are you, no, I don't think so. Oh, maybe it's gone now. Oh, I might have taken it over. Yeah, Hang that's okay. Yeah. There you go. You got it. Yeah, there, yeah. there it is. So there it is. Too. So go to Facebook, like everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and there's, yeah, and there's you got information about the new winners, the winners talking about what they're doing, mm -hmm. how they're going to be at the NLA conference that we just mm -hmm. had last month. Yes. We're wonderful. this month. We're still this in the month. same month. Yeah, yeah. Glad they were here. They it's were been delightful. They were very. It's delightful. been a hectic month, hasn't it, Chris? It's been. A, it's been a month. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, let's wrap it up for today then. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, and we'll see you next time on Encompass Live. Thank Bye -bye. you.